Hello guys, this is David again from Akupawa and today I also have opportunity to share a few minutes of my time by considering the questions that I received in, in the email regarding how you can you know authenticate users in the user defined field and how you can set parameters in terms of adding a new user or new employer. So with this video, um, I will briefly, uh, you know, explain that and I'll try my best to limit the time in order to get much more information as required in the question. So shall we then log in uh, from the admin section of Akumatica? Okay, so as you can see, as usual, nothing but, you know, the, the basic user interface and, and the things and the tools you need to do your job. So here today, uh, based on the question, uh, we will go a little bit down here and to find more items. And here, when we scroll down, we can see user security. So this month, uh, this is what I want you to pay attention. Um, depending on um, on how your account is set up, but as you can see, I am using the admin section, so I have the privilege to see all these. So when when I click on user security, it then give me the uh, a page that shows the user management. So here you can see that every section has a drill down that allows you to do more of the uh, information <clears throat> you're looking for sorry so here we have uh, the user roles and user type so that's one if you want to do that and you have such account uh, like mine using the admin section you can come here and follow uh, the steps that i'm about to so i will do that but before doing it as you can see each sections has uh, like i said earlier drip down and uh, it's very intuitive because it allows you to see exactly what you're supposed to do. I mean, so when I go to users, let's assume that um, <clears throat> a new employer has been hired and uh, you hired a new person and you want to assign the person to a specific department, right? So let's say you give the person the username, like John, for example, right? and uh, you click on the user type and here you have uh, as to what department uh, you employed uh, John uh, you can say uh, we can, you can select from this drill down here you can see it gives you all the department that has been set uh, for you or for me <clears throat> in terms of assigning the person that you, you just hired so let's say um, the person is um, 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 a clerk and you can see access to CEO functions if the person is let's say CEO support admin he have a full access to support functionality and settings so it explain itself making it much more difficult for you to uh, find out um, what um, uh, employer uh, what access you need to give to this particular person so let's say I will uh, assign this guy as a guest um, this user we about to uh, create so we have the user type now and the link entity so here we can click on this section if we want to assign to you know uh, with, with, with someone that's fine but we will go ahead and put name let's say um, John and the last name we put John Doe okay so if you have any email with email for sure you need to put and uh, in this case I will use my work emails but I, I will try my best uh, to put let's say John Yes, so we have uh, email, we have entered his email here and here also we can uh, see we need to a little bit explain about uh, passwords. We have a system generated password. This one you can remove it, 
and set a strong password that you would like to give to your employer and um, you give him access if you try logging in using uh, uh, multiple logins what you know you have all these changes what it should take effect which is something Acomatica don't take it for granted because this is security yeah and uh, as admin you have the possibility to control that so now we have set the uh, um, parameters for the new user that we created we will save it and in the next video i will show you when the person logs in how the uh, profile is going to be like so uh, this is how you can set uh, your parameters and assign a specific uh, a person that you hired to that specific department that you hired a person to so without uh, further ado let's save it and see so you can join me in the next video whilst i will log in using john doe details to see how john doe portfolio looks like and how the functionality of the new employer uh, is going to uh, be so thank you all for watching my short video and i believe i answered your questions and please don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and also uh, hit a thumbs up so you can get more updates from such a beautiful information like this. Thank you and have a great day. Peace.